Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the council. King George the Third. I am investigating nice Miss Adams's Miss Elizabeth Adams's death. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. Going through through. Hard to understand this painting choice. Going through people's rooms and snooping around because I can. Okay, do we have anything interesting in here? Ooh, ooh there's something on the table. I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, hmm. they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are. Hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Hmm. Interesting. Now... Obviously, one of those E's was um, Elizabeth, the Duchess. But who is the other E? The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds. Painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family mm -hmm. in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat. It's disgusting. Oh, are you trying to be a feminist there? Good for Grammar you, Louise. Royal. Ah. The artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least no. une partie of it. Okay, that's cool. I'm just stealing everybody's books here. Okay, what about you? From William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. Hmm. The present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam. Yeah, Thank well, that's so royalty to you, or the king's nobility. The is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Mm -hmm. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the king? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. Mm -hmm. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision-taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt. Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Ah, okay, so... Oh, that was a coin. Boring. Okay, what do you have there? Duchess, you can inform King George of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with financing the recruitment of regiments of emigrant royalists to fight against France. Your friend, His Eminence Giuseppe Piacci. Uh-huh. Okay. And then we have a two coils circle the lock. Do I have I don't have the key? Okay, and there's Queen a painting. Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there from what I can tell. Okay. And what do you a have there? From William Pitt the Elder, addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from fifteen years ago now. Madam. Oh. I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely. William Pitt, oh. oh, so you are not born in wealth. Instead, you were married into, into royalty. To be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Okay. Blah. Blah. Okay, maybe I should go and talk to you. Can I do anything with this? No. Is there anything else to pick up? Oh, there's something. Um, golden elixir. Oh, inventory full. Okay, 
Do I have to talk with you? Yes, I do. What Hello. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. No, <laughs> well, she did. Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. No doubt she suffered greatly. Nine times? What monster is capable of such a I'm still thing? thinking that there might be some sort of exactly? murder in the Orient Express Lord kind of thing going on here. Everybody stabs her once. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? Yes, I'm I am. I'm for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Hmm. Make her speak about the night of the murder. Um. Okay, let's Did go. These first. Get to know each other. I must admit, Louis, I, I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed hmm. burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Hmm. Okay. I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you were doing on the night of the murder? <gasps> Waiting I'm for me! I to understand that I'm on the list of suspects. Don't take it the wrong way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted mm -hmm. to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know Emily, mm -hmm. especially since I couldn't prevent murder, oh my God. even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You're, you're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will I'm find not, the murder. If there is I some sort of stupid back. love thingy between these two... Since you're arriving, did you notice anything strange Then about I'm not, pleased. Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. You're right. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I, I want to know. see him during the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. Did you drug him? That gives Washington an alibi. Okay, others? Um, hmm. That girl was held by hand of a woman. Now wash it. No. I hear you were in discussions with the Holy See. Oh, either his eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging, or you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily, you're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you hmm. are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Nah. Nah. I okay, won't bye. Thank you for answering my questions. For See some reason, me. I think those... Those dialogues there don't really make a difference. Now, do we have anything else here? Anything that we can take or I don't have the don't have the key for that that chest there. You do have a nice room. Who is that then? Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Why can't I go in there? Huh. That's weird. President George Washington. Okay, Mr. Washington, let's talk to you then. I didn't add it. What did I get? I'm not sure. Uh, God damn, I need more athletics. Can't reach anything. Sucks. Okay, I do not picked up inventory full, golden elixir. Mm -hmm. And then you're right there. I don't want to talk to you just yet. I want to go through your rooms first. Okay, okay, too my close. Dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire, 
I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Okay. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Ooh, decipher. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United mm -hmm. States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. Okay. Okay, well, that's interesting. Do you have anything else on your desk? Hmm, I guess not. Anything in here? No. Okay. Okay, in that case, I will go snoop around in here. Go through your stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on now. It's got to be something interesting. Portrait of George Washington. <laughs> oh yeah, royal jelly. That's what I needed. Can't go outside. Oh, Jesus fuck. Okay, Mr. George, talk to me. Greetings, Liam. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Of course. Are you all right, Mr. President? Are you feeling all right? Oh, don't worry. It's this rotten toothache. What do you expect? Uh, uh, I'm no spring chicken now. Okay. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Now let's can see. Can you tell me what you were doing last if night? If you so confirm what Elizabeth told me. I spent the night right here reading. All night? Exactly. Emily stopped by mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. You can ask. No, her. Emily. Sorry. She wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything mm -hmm. whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, Louis. A business matter. Okay. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Hmm. Did you know Did why? Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, and not the migraines. Hmm. Um. Anything else? No. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Hmm. Okay, anything else about the footprint? Mr. President, we found a footprint at the scene of the crime. Not a dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. No, rest assured, it looks like the print of a big ankle boot. A large size, I'd say. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. Oh, okay. That was it then. Fine. Alright, moving on. I wonder how long I have to investigate. Is it as long as I've... Wait, 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 wait. Map. Right here. Hillsborough. Bonaparte, Peru. Von Wellner. Have I been in Von Wellner's room? I'm not sure. And that's mine. Ah! Oh! I got upstairs! Oh, this is... 
this is the ah, Mr. Yu. Let's talk to you. Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. What a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I mm -hmm. would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Not to worry, Your Eminence. If he is innocent, then he has nothing to fear. Do you know mm, I don't why believe that. Bonaparte was hanging around her room like that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the dashing young soldier had become infatuated with a fragile young woman who looked a bit lost. But I don't think he got a very warm welcome. Bonaparte and Adams? <laughs> but they didn't even know each other, did they? I couldn't say, Louis. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anything if I else? were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Perro. Uh, I've already talked. How violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. Oh. 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 So that's all I can say to you. Well, that sucks. Can I talk to you? Oh, hello. Ooh, royal jelly. Nice. Ah, oh, what else do we have here? The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Hmm. Oh, and there's something there. Carmelite water, alrighty. Okay, can I talk to you, mister? Apparently, I cannot. Oh, can I? Yes, I can. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Okay. Am I... I'm, I'm sorry, my lord, but I don't have any evidence conclusive enough to allow me to name the culprit with certitude. Really? I see. Well, that's your decision, Louis, and I accept it. Given the distinguished hmm. guests and the sensitive political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. Okay. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. Mm, she's in hiding, she I think. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but... It wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? Mm. And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? I have no idea. Probably the cat. Knowing my mother, she would be the cat. Mm, that doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mm -hmm. mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip mm -hmm. his army. Okay. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. Yet mm -hmm. he told me that you had spoken and that you hadn't been able to reach an understanding. Hmm. That's putting it mildly. Monsieur Bonaparte is one of those guys who only understands people who think like he does. Ah, I see what you mean. He is indeed rather inflexible when it comes to certain subjects. But I am still of the opinion that you can manage to get along. Mm -hmm. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. 
No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. Mm -hmm. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once okay. this deal was closed, you people I have, have lost me. For Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. Mm -hmm. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Mm -hmm. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? I have absolutely no if idea. Only my mother trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? Probably, as head of the yeah. Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. Hmm. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Hmm, she's wary of someone. She might have discovered something. Um, let's Maybe go with that. Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. If she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning hmm. of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Mm. Tell me. Tell me about her disappearance. Since she yeah. disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Only her once. Her on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg oh, your pardon. Hey, hello. Emily has a twin sister who knew my mother? What's she playing it, goddammit? That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need hmm. to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You yes. said that you spent a lot of time Indeed. talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W Can I go would in there? Would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. Thank I'll you. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank, Thank you. you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. Okay. Can I we move on then? I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In okay. In the meantime... I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Thank you. So very much. Moving on now. Yes. Mm. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Ah, there. Okay. Hello. There are burnt papers in the chimney. Hmm. Blue for our looks, okay. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says, 
We must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? A man with a sword. Suspicious of. I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize your love of riddles there. Is probably okay. Consult your notes. Okay. Yeah. There. More of the jelly. And... Dante's paradise. Uh huh. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Okay, and I can't get up there. What else? What else? Hello, there's something. Carmelite water. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Hmm. Remember this story, a Russian um occultism locked. Caravaggio okay. So command. we Black. can only examine. The play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal. The curtains of his illusions being raised mm -hmm. and receives the light from his savior. Ta -da. Okay, thank you. There's probably something I need to do with that later on. Or figure something out out from that. Is there anything in here? No. Uh-huh. The door appears to be locked on the other side. Hmm. Open. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. Force the door difficulty. Oh, God damn, can't I really? So I need to get to the other side. Get oh, there's something. I saw something there. Gleaming there. Oh, just a coin. God damn. Anything there? Oh, there's something on the other side of that. What is this disc? Take it. Lodestone. Okay. Anything else? Oh, and there's something. Dante's yeah, that's paradise. the pa Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up blah, here blah, blah. in the mortal world must ripen in our rays. Can I do something with the disc and this? Same no. The road to Dem huh? Use the disc. There Let's we go. Works. Oh, it was a magnet. Cool. Okay. That's nice. Hello. What do it's we open. have here? Yes, it is open. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. Let's see. There's something, there's something there. Amber crystals. Okay, amber. Cool. And there's that thing. And there's a painting. Saint Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. This is a probably a very good uh, lesson in art history as well. Several theory. portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Mm-hmm. So what I would love for this game to have is a skip dialogue button. Sophistria. Observe. Painted by Guido Rini. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Was there something there? Was this just a reflection? It was just a New reflection. Testament. Oh my god, do I... No. I, I don't want to read that just now. Seriously? Was that it? Oh 
Hold on. No, there's something. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Use the right key. I don't have the right key for this. Well, that sucks. Ha! Ah, you're Saint a Paul man with a sword. Saint Paul. Saint Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Okay, now I go back to the Bible. 11. Ah, 11, I 11, there. That, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. For to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from mother's carefully folded uh -huh. the pages here. Ha uh ha! -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm Dear so smart. I'm, I'm so glad you smart. found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What youngest youngest I think was you scrutinize the frame the painting looks like it's been taken down recently what was it my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle ah of course there's something written behind the painting on the second day the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle, they shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? One to the left and three to the right. Okay. Saint John, so back to the Bible then. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and a half a time, from the face of the serpent. Hey, ah, no all right, you found it. carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. S, I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you, okay. awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Here's the angel. What does Here's that mean? The angel, so... Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. Okay. He who hears the angel, is it... Yeah, there's the angel there. Let's see. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Examine the frame. It's been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Mm-hmm. Is that it? There's nothing worth noticing here. Mm-hmm. Surroundings. Chest of the drawers, just a piece of furniture behind the painting. It's cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months. If not years. Okay. No. Nothing of value here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. Mm -hmm. This sentence in Hebrew. It says, Count in the dust. Alright, let's do it. There are finger marks. Deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight and all. Mm -hmm. That's the message in Hebrew spoke about. Hebrew eight. Okay. Then what? No, wait. Hebrew Hebrew eight. Do we have something of eight here? But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. 
Here's a message. Uh -huh. there, there we go. Complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I mm -hmm. await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. New pilgrims near Paul. These ones? Several portraits of no. apostles. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look. Here's All a right. message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. Mm -hmm. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Okay. Find Mark. Which one of you is Mark? Are you Mark? There's something else behind this painting. Yes, you are. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a oh. note here. A message from mother and reply to E. Okay. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. Okay, are we what done do here? What do you mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Mm-hmm. Probably I'm allegorical. I'm guessing it's a metaphor. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Okay, but can I... Okay. Decipher the message. Join the other guests. Okay, let's do that. Oh! I refuse to indicate a culprit. I found all the correspondence between Emily or E and my mother and discovered mother's message. Did not understand it. Oh, well, that sucks. It's time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Okay, going there then. Hello. Do you have any drugs for me? Expected in the small salon, sir. Okay. Okay, so you didn't have any drugs for me. Going to the small salon then. I couldn't decipher my mom's message. That's unfortunate. I'm Emily, still I annoyed by What's that dress. Matter, I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Mm, don't send her on my mother's trail. Speak about the messages. Ask her to go beyond the nightmare. Uh, yeah, let's Mother's do that. really killed her sister. I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. You're a bad liar, mister. Speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. 
No, I'm gonna keep quiet. <laughs> I better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Lily. They're waiting for us. Oh, I didn't have time to ask about the goal beyond nightmare. Damn. Okay. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. <laughs> Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel the hell are you? on your way back. Or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. Mm. Well, who is it then? Who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Duke of La Alcudia. Oh. He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Nope. Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our oh. monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France. He's lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Can't think of the consequences, say nothing. No, calm things down. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. Thank well, you. That's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? No. Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, okay. I shall leave you to get to know one another. Thank you. When you hear hmm. the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Um, this chore sure is weird and interesting. Okay. Uh, could you Find out what Mfelner is sir. hiding. Why you ask? I want to talk to you too. Of course. Oh, confrontation. I heard about God your damn. mother's disappearance. Well, he looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Let's see what he wants from me. Wait. Fuller is vulnerable to diversion. Any news of her? Have you found her? Maybe? Um, vulnerability, difficulty, diversion. Yes, um, I've had no time. Does he know her? To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks back. Only chance. Uh, we had a very what? pleasant discussion. 
She's an exceptionally learned lady. With ah, a good head okay. for business. No need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? Hmm. So this is why you're so interesting. Manipulation. Pretend to know. No. How could I know? Oh, crap. Uh, these are... I'm going to be no, honest. No, not at all. Ah. Uh, I thought she might have spoken to you about it. Well, too bad. Oh. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. <gasps> all right, then. Shit! Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful. Oh, crap. And bring Sarah back to us soon. Oh. I must go now. I should I have. Oh. I am just way too honest for this game. Way, way, way too honest. Okay. Do we have have any items to pick up here? Let's see. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Oh, I have a key. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Okay. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Mm-hmm. Find out more clues about your mother's note. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's a, actually kind of cool painting there. Nothing there. Nothing there, so I guess I'll have to talk to you. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Hmm. It doesn't give a damn. I'm sure that a soldier such as yourself is not interested in vulgar rumors. Mm, quite right. If only this cursed gossip didn't come to stain the uniform he has the audacity to wear. Don't you huh. find him worthy? But how could he be, monsieur? He never sets foot on the battlefield to occupy it with charming the queen. Have you any idea of the number of titles that coward has won in just a few years? No, not really. Ten! And that Don Juan spends the best part of his time under the queen's skirts. The bugger must have some hidden talent, given all of the gifts she gives him. I understand your point of view. Okay. Um, Does expression nightmare. go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You mm. ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Yeah, okay. Thank you, well, bye. I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Hmm. Let me know if you find her. Of course. A plus tard, monsieur. Okay. Then what? Then what? Then what? Oh my god, this place is huge. Can I go up there? Yes, I could. Okay. Well. I think I'm gonna leave this episode of the council right here. I... Yeah. I am apparently way too honest for this game. I cannot just... I'm, I'm not good with all the manipulation and subterfuge and all of that. So... 
I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, let me know. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again next time.